Sure, will be right on there eating it in no time. Now this buck here is without a doubt the most incredible buck I've, I've ever filmed. He's a 30 inch 5x5. Five five. I'm sure he's close to 30 inches. Just an absolutely incredible buck. I mean, probably scoring in the 160s. Just an awesome buck. Now you're probably noticing that spot on his side. I have no idea what that bald spot is on his side. This buck lives in an area, a real remote area, no people anywhere around. I'd be really interested in hearing if anybody else has any ideas of what that spot might be from. It appears to be shaved, but I guarantee you this buck lives in a remote area, way away from people. He has absolutely no contact with people. And I have seen him since this video, and since I shot this video, and the hair is completely grown back. I'm stumped. I have no idea what, what forks, but other than that, he's just an incredible blacktail. Probably 24, maybe a little bit wider. He, he could push 25, hard to say. Nonetheless, he's high. He's got big forks. He's just a beautiful buck. And the way he moves here is reminds me of a big old bull elk or something. Just tipping his head back and the way the horns just bob back and forth is just a uh, just a really nice piece of video I think. My wife actually filmed this and um, she went out she found this buck by herself. I wasn't with her. She um, went out and um, actually we had, we had seen this buck across the canyon the night before just at dark and we hoped that we would be able to find him in better light and she got lucky she she uh, went back up in the area where we had seen him and got lucky and was able to get some some video of him and some good video of him too nice close-up video just an awesome buck this is the kind of buck that I think probably every blacktail hunter dreams of. Now as you can see here, you see his tail. He's a purebred blacktail. Um, this particular buck is probably, oh I don't know, I'd say 30 miles from the coast as the crow flies. Um, that little white tip on his tail is, means absolutely nothing. Uh, you'll see a lot of blacktails, a lot of pure blacktails with, with tips like that on their tails, at least in this area I can't. I can't say that's common in, in other areas. This buck here is another beautiful buck. This is probably a, a 130 class, maybe a little bit higher. A 130 class buck. Nice. This is actually pretty early in the um, growth cycle, uh, the antler growth cycle. And I'm sure he put on quite a bit more tine length. Well, I would think he did. I. I never saw him again, so I pay for sure, but um, I would suspect he did. Just a beautiful buck. Nice tines, nice high buck. Just a real nice buck. He's a uh, He's got a whole bunch of eye guards, actually, on the left side. Um, these kind of eye guards aren't real common in blacktails. These long eye guards like this, that's what makes this buck so unique. That was also early in the in the year and he grew considerably longer times. These are some real nice bucks, just uh, nice high, high horned bucks. Um, the lower one again has some real nice eye guards. This one's just basically a great big fork and horn. I would, I would estimate he's, he's pushing 20 inches, 20 inches high and He's over 20 inches wide, 21 maybe wide, I would guess. Uh, the one on the right here is a beautiful buck. Nice long eye guards, 4x3. He showed up a lot this year in the, um, while we were filming in Velvet. This is uh, later in the year, just before his horns, different stages of antler growth. It's kind of funny how these bucks, you know, this time of year they'll just be right out kind of funny how these bucks you know this time of year they'll just be right out in these open in these open fields walking around acting almost like cattle you know and you'll you'll never catch 
these bugs later in the year in, uh, in this situation. It's kind of interesting what he did there. He's, um, they know we're there, they're walking away, and as they're up the hill, the buck on the right, he just decides, well, heck, I think I'm gonna take a nap. So he lays down, curls up in a ball there, and the other buck says, hey, 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 what are you doing? Get, get going. You know, you can't lay out in the open like this. You're a buck. But anyway.